Alright, I will talk about Flexus series from Aspire. Uh, actually, they released this Flexus. First is Q at the end of the last year. And I get this device at the beginning of this year and I already use it like more than three months. It's quite a good device. And then they released the stick, which is uh, old fashioned, old school style, like the round stick style. So I'm I'm not very interested about that kind of uh, appearance, so I ignore it. Then last month, they released the loop, which is this small box. And now I'm using this one. <clears throat> so at the end of this, the uh, vape age of China, so I'm, I think I should uh, talk something about them. Uh, for the Flexus Q, actually I, you know, now I only have the box now for I move to a new place here. So when the, during the moving, I lost something and I find something. So the Flexus Q is one of my last. I don't know where I put it. So just this box remain. You can see the picture. And I think a lot of people already use this device for a long time. In my opinion, that's, that is a very good device for, yes, it has a 700 mAh battery and uh, weigh 57 gram. The power capacity is two milliliter. It has the bottom fire and the air trigger have three different output level. Type C charge, plug in coil, and it has a 0 0.6 ohm and a 1.0 ohm. It's two different type of coil. For 0 0.6, you can use it to do the shallow DL. The 1.0 is for the MTL. The experience of this device is very good. It's for its flavor expression is quite good. No any significant defect. The most good thing about this Flexus Q are it supports the fast charge, which I mean the real fast charge. For most of people now, they have the cell phone charge adapter, right? The all charge adapter, the output current is like a two amp or like three or four. But most of the vape device, uh, most of them, I think like more than 90%, they just only support less than one amp. A lot of people, they just use the cell phone charge adapter you use to charge the vape device. So it causes many problems. Most of the time, they will just uh, damage the device more function. So Flexus Q is the first device which supports three ampere charge current which means you can charge to like 80% of the battery in, in 10 minutes. That's really fast. This is very good. This is the breakthrough uh, features in the vape industry. To me, at least to me, because I never see any device can support such high charge currency. The part is the side field. At the side of the device, you can adjust the airflow from loose to very tight. Very tight is not very good for the cooling. So for MTL users, you should keep the airflow a little, little bit open. Don't don't make it too tight. The ceiling of the pods is much more good than the Favo stick. For Favo have a many, many after sale surveys for the nicking problem and it caused the sticks more function. For the Flexus Q, the case of after sale service is very, very few. So the Flexus Q, to my opinion, is a very stable and uh, easy to use with a quite good wave experience device. I like it very much. So before they release the block, I, I'm i using the Flexus Q. And then after they release the block, this one, uh, actually it's Lao Sun. Lao Sun first noticed me that they have released the block and he sent me the picture. And I see pictures and I see the, the feeling hole at the side of this place. So I'm worried about uh, will it cause any sending problem? But Lao Sun keep in talk to me said this device is very good. I say they, they are using the same coil, but uh, he insists. So I get one, which is this one. So I get one and start to try it. I'm starting to use it at the end of last month. I bring it to Wuhan to Xiaogan and then until now for almost one month using. I finished two coils. This is the third one. I never meet any nicking problem. And I'm so curious for one of the my fans on WeChat. Uh, when I recommend this device to him, he, he said he watched the review video from other other people said this one is uh, easy to lick him. I'm so 
curious for according to my experience and according to Lao Sun's and according to my friends a lot of my friends now are they are all using block now no one reported me about any city problems so i don't know why he told me that some some guy in the re review said block is easy to lick in i don't understand at least till now not any case to report the city so because i don't have any fast queue but i have the block so i i will show the block block is the small box device and actually it's it is not very big compared to the Enfix Pro from Smoke. It looks big, but actually it's quite small. It has the same feature as the Flexus Q. You know, three level output adjustment, bottom fire and the L trigger. They move the button at the side of this box. So when you put it down, it can avoid to trick the button accidentally. This is very good. And the mouse drip, all they can, all they say the mouse piece, right? It's the standard connector, so you can change your mouse drip or mouse piece as you want. You can search the 510 DZ on Taobao and you will find a lot of different style of the, the mouse drip. So you can switch to the one you like. This one is Shangdeng He Tian Yu Xi Zui, which you are now very hard to find on Taobao. This is my precious, which I bought in 2017. And I just found it when this time I'm moving my house, so I accidentally found it. Before, I think I lost it already. And it has a 1200 battery, it's a very, very big, big battery. And it has a 3 millimeter pod. Use the same coil, use the same coil plugin as same as the Fastest Q. And uh, they use the magnet connector. Very good craft, very nice. I tested after fully charged. It can last four days. For this three milliliter pod, I can use like two and a half days. So it can last a very long time. But unlike the Flexus Q, this one doesn't support the fast charge. As the other device, it can only support one ampere. You can only use like Wu Fu Yan or the USB port on your computer to charge this device. But the good thing is, after fully charged, it can last a very long time. And for this coil, for this coil, you can see that a uh, part of the the bottom of the coil is is out of the pod. This kind of design can keep the conduct hole of the coil at the bottom of the pod, so you can finish the juice uh, as possible as you can. Unlike the other device, for example, like U well, right? We can see that the coil inside the U well device uh, is completely inside the pod. And we can see the conduct hole is almost is higher than the bottom of the pod. So a lot of people will worry about the oil conduction. Uh, it's very easy to cause the coil burn. Yeah, this is a very good device. Until now, Block has no has received a zero problem report. If you use it in good way and uh, have a very good habit of the maintenance, I mean, I mean like two or three days clean the seepage. So here's the problem that uh, Flexus Q supports 3 ampere faster charge and the block has a big battery and a big pod. So no matter which one you are choosing, they can all provide you the very good web experience. So no need to worry about it. But the only thing you need to know is that uh, for the block, don't use the fast charge and uh, do the maintenance frequently. That's it, I just finished my mission at the end of the time, so I don't want to leave any regret for such a good device. I never make any review about it. So next time I will review the Smokes MFix Pro and the Pause. They also like the they also like the Flexus, they share the same type of coil. And uh, the last one I will share with you the Carnival X. Alright, that's all. Uh, I will shoot the the MFIX Pro and the Pause review tomorrow. I uh, hope I can catch the time for today is 26 now, only three days left. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye. I forget to tell you guys, the airflow adjustment of the block is at the side of the mouse drip. As you can see here, for me, I just put it in the middle. There's a small, small issue that which you, when you refilling the juice, you can see they will make a juice foil. You need to blow air to the hole like, like this. Then the foil will gone, then you can start to refill the pot.